Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the kingdom of God and Jesus and why Jesus, what's the difference between all these other religions and why Jesus is an exclusive way to salvation, to heaven and to God. So this is inspired because I watched this video somebody posted and um, it was talking about how so many things that I just I had to I had to respond and explain this person is completely confused and I see how they could be confused because when you're not born again of the Spirit of God the Holy Spirit you can't understand the scriptures therefore you're teaching things that aren't accurate in the Word of God itself even the words of Jesus which this person has completely twisted and didn't understand he's applying it through a different um, lens that isn't actually the truth of the gospel so the whole preface of the video begins talking about well what about a buddhist who you know does good works he meditates he um does good charity work and he you know chants and does his thing he denies his body fasts and does all this stuff um the person is basically talking about why isn't that what Jesus taught? Jesus said to deny yourself, to, you know, do good works, to love others. Um, so what's the difference? Why is this Buddhist monk um, not saved? And, and basically, he, he's trying to say that this Buddhist monk is doing exactly what Jesus taught us to do. So I just wanted to pack, unpack this a little bit because in the New Age community, there's a lot of confusion about this whole topic because for the problem is is that most people don't actually understand the gospel of Jesus Christ therefore they don't really understand how to apply it to their own lives and and why it's an exclusive thing so first of all okay this Buddhist monk let's just go back to this guy so let's say that he is doing meditation he is sitting there uh, contemplating in silence doing his chanting he's um, you know doing charity work he's helping people now this Buddhist monk believes in Buddha first off okay he doesn't believe in Jesus Christ so right there he's excluded because the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him will not perish but have eternal life so if this buddhist monk now goes and decides to be like well i'm going to receive jesus christ as my lord and savior and believe in jesus and then he calls on jesus then that's a whole different story okay but if this buddhist monk continues doing what he's doing no matter how many good works he does he still remains a sinner period because there is no righteous person. There's nobody in the world who is sinless, okay? Like, not one of us. Even a little kid, you will see that they will, you know, they they have their own little tendencies right off the bat. They'll steal their toy back or they don't like sharing. They'll smack their friend, right? So every single person right from the get-go, we are sinners because the fallen human nature, that's what it is. We're sinful creatures. And Jesus Christ came to eliminate sin to give us another um, a redemption from our sin so I'll get into that a little later but I just wanted to cover these examples first and then I'm gonna unpack it a little bit so so this person was basically saying well God is not loving because he uh, you know what about the Muslim children and the Buddhist children and and the Hindu children right so once again he's trying to say that this Hindu guy is doing all this meditation and he's fasting and whatever and he's doing lots of good charity work and lots of yoga and he's you know he's aligning his chakras and all this stuff and um, so this guy is really this guy was talking about how we are to seek that Jesus said to seek the kingdom within but once again if you actually look at the context of the scripture where Jesus was talking about seeking the kingdom within your midst, in your midst is what he was talking about. He was referring to himself. So the gospel of Jesus Christ is this. 
God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son because we are such sinners, okay? All of us have fallen short. Every single one of us has not been good. We've lied, we've stolen, we've cheated, whatever. There's a million things that people do and we can't undo that on our own. We can't, we can't be made righteous in our own selves. So you can seek within yourself all you want. You could be meditating all day. You could be, which is what all these religions do. They, you'll notice the Muslims fast. The Muslims uh, will pray five times a day or six times a day. They get up early. They do all this stuff. But all that stuff is, is basically without Jesus Christ, it's pointless because it still doesn't remit your sin. You're still a sinner. You're still perishing you still don't have a savior unless you have Jesus you're still unrighteous before God because God is holy so the only way to erase your sins your lies your um, unrighteous acts your you know is through faith in Jesus Christ alone and what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross so Jesus is not some guy who came down like a Buddha who hung out under a tree and had all these thoughts about reality and decided you know oh I got to do something different or whatever. I'm going to reach nirvana. I'm going to sit under this tree. So he's not like that. He's also not some Hindu imaginary god of monkeys or elephants or whatever, rats, all these created things, right? He's not uh, Allah who Muhammad was told by some angel in a cave who freaked him out completely and then told him like, you gotta write all this down or whatever and then it was all like you know he, he used a bunch of characters from the bible added his own stuff in there whatever he felt like and then you know he established a whole following just like you know all these things are basically useless because they don't have a savior there's no there's no guarantee of anything there's no redemption so you're you continue as a sinner you're still a sinner whether you fast 10 times a day whether you uh, do prayers five times a day, whether you pray to the east or to the south or to the west, whether you meditate, whether you do your whatever sage purification, you know, you still, you're still a, a sinful human being and you still need a savior, you still need salvation. And there's only one way to get that and that's through Jesus Christ our Lord. And he died for each and every single one of us and right now I mean we've got the gospel right the gospel is, is being preached around the world so that people will know that they have a chance to be redeemed from their sin from their sinful ways from their um, mistakes from the wrath of God from the judgment because God is so holy and righteous none of us can compare we don't even understand it we always make God in our own image we try to you know, be our own God. We try to walk around and, you know, pretend that God doesn't exist. But really, we know deep down inside because we're made in His image. And it says that every person has God on the inside in the knowledge of God and the knowledge of right and wrong, the good and evil that came from the Garden of Eden right from the get go. So we all have that intrinsically in us. We know, like, when you steal something, you don't usually go out in inside you don't just like walk in the store and take it and like openly steal it right when you're when you're a thief most thieves will hide it they'll plan it out they'll make it all secretive blah 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 right so right there they know right off the bat it's wrong okay same goes with sin say it goes with adultery with um sex outside of marriage all these things that we do as humans are all sin and we all know right from wrong deep inside because our creator God who created the heavens and the earth the Almighty has planted that in us right off the bat right when you're born you already know right from wrong even little kids and as we grow what happens is society comes along and then we you know we get taught lies and then a lot of that then mixes it and confuses us because Satan our adversary who hates each of us he's the one who's trying to keep us away from Jesus he's trying to convince us that oh Jesus is just some bad religion and blah 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 you know it's not true so 
you know, and there's so much deception around the gospel, around Jesus. It took me 30 years to find the truth, you guys. Like, I searched through everything. So, believe me when I say this, like, he is our adversary. He hates us. He wants to destroy us because we are made in God's image. We are God's children and God doesn't want anyone to perish. So now he's sharing the gospel with every single person. He sent himself. He had to come down because nobody else could do it. So Jesus wasn't just some dude that came around teaching, you know, random stuff like they try to tell you. Like, oh, he's just like Muhammad. No, 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 no. Okay. Jesus is God. He ain't no Muhammad. Muhammad was just some dude who decided to twist some of the stuff that's in the Bible. And it was written, his book was written long after Christianity already existed. Okay, and then there's there's a lot of other false stuff out there. So the, the bottom line is this, that Jesus is the only way because he's the one who suffered for each of us. He's the one who went to the cross. He was a perfect man and he sacrificed his life on the cross and died a brutal death for each of us so that we by faith through faith in him could have everlasting life could be redeemed back to the father and this is um an amazing gift that the average person does can't even comprehend like you actually have to sit there and like really pray about it god will show you but you know some of you might have seen the passion of the christ if you watch that it, it's just it's so hard to watch, but that's like a good depiction of what Jesus went through for each of us. And, you know, then he rose again from the dead because God raised him from the dead for what he did. He was obedient unto the cross. Like what people don't get is that God could have just said, yo, back off. This is my son. Leave him alone and, you know, save Jesus. But the point was that right from the be beginning, from the get go, from when Satan deceived Adam and Eve to eat the apple and the, of the knowledge of good and evil, God had a plan of redemption for humans because he loved us so much. His plan of redemption was to send his son to redeem us back to himself so that we would have a chance to go to heaven, to be redeemed back to God, to have eternal life, to be free from sin and hell. So this is why Jesus is the only way in the truth and the life. Muhammad, Buddha, and all these guys, they, they are false gods, which there's plenty of false gods. And there's only one way that God decides the way, not us. So we can't just be like, oh, you know, I'm going to just do it my way because this is the way I see it. And this is my version of what I think is the truth. So I'm going to be the one who decides how I get to heaven and, you know my version of what I believe but we know that there's a lot of lies out there guys there isn't just many religions and many ways to salvation the narrow it's a narrow way and you know right right in the Bible it says that um, many will seek uh, many are on the the broad road which leads to destruction but there's a few that find the truth right so the path of truth is always narrow always 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 it's not some broad thing and if you even look at anything else in life it's the same thing you know the common um the common teachings and a lot of that stuff is often not the full truth but anyway that's a whole other doc topic i'm not even going to go to um also the other thing i'd like to say is that all religions don't teach the same thing that's the other myth the myth is that you know well they're all the same they're just all a waste of time and they all teach the same thing ultimately but that's not even true because there's only one truth like I said all religions depend on you yourself and what you do to save yourself so whether you get incarnated because you did good here as a human or you get reincarnated later in Hinduism as an animal because you did bad things or like you know you regress those things that's just complete nonsense okay like <laughs> there's people that think that some rat or whatever is their cousin okay I'm sorry but it's just be like humans don't become animals 
Let's just stick to the basic reality. Okay. Um, what else did I want to cover? So, my main point is is that in all these religions, they the focus is always on you yourself and how you could be your own savior, which is totally la la land because we are all sinners, and apart from Christ. We can't be saved. Jesus is our only hope because he's the one who cleanses us from all unrighteousness, from all sin, saves us from death and hell, which he already accomplished on the cross. So anyway, I think I've covered it pretty good there. Um, if there's any questions or anything like that, please let me know. And uh, just message me if you have any questions or if you want me to talk about something else. I'm always looking for... Uh, new topics to cover and yeah we'll talk to you guys next time and please check out my other videos if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior yet I have plenty of videos just watch the main video on my page um, and if you have questions or want me to pray for you or anything like that let me know okay thanks guys be blessed